Well, everyone likes to think art that's been handed down or valuable for even pieces brought over the years appreciate, but what is it really worth? Lydia Abbott is the Managing Director of Consigner Canadian Fine Art. She is traveling across Canada in search of important Canadian art and is in this morning with great advice on buying, selling, and consigning it. Good morning. How are Good morning. you? Great. Thank you. Okay. So you started this business about a year ago. We did. How does it work? Well, we're actually a Canadian auction firm. We have our headquarters are in Toronto and we sell Canadian art. Usually um, we have a lot of online fine art sales. So we're always appraising artwork. People are always contacting us, emailing us at info at consigner.ca with artworks that they have, maybe they inherited or they just want to know a bit more about. So okay. we're always doing appraisals. Okay, yeah. and I'm not, I don't think I have that art eye. You do though, and you have yeah. what you call a few commandments that you swear by when you look at art in, ter in terms of finding out what the value is. So let's start with this one right here. Right. What would you use to determine? How do you determine? One that you would say is kind of, I would say, pretty obvious. Um, you would look at who the artist is. That's okay. something that we always look at first. We can identify the artist by, you know, looking at the subject. Looking at, you know, the, the detail and looking at the signature, of course. Okay. So who the artist is important here. This is actually a really well-known, um, well-celebrated Canadian artist, William Kurlek. And he painted a lot of the prairies, a lot of charming subjects. This work's called Ukrainian Proverb. It's in our November auction. And you said, mm -hmm. which I found very interesting, if an artist is known for a certain subject, that... And, and it works for them, mm -hmm. that's why they are able to sell much. But once they change the subject, it might not work in their favor when sometimes, it comes to selling it. Sometimes, it right? really depends. You know, and, and sometimes they'll change it depending on what the style is of the time. But sometimes they're really well known for a specific subject. And Curlek's really well known for these wonderfully charming snow scenes, with, often with children and, right. and animals. And he actually made all of the, the frames, usually the frames all are, are all done by him. Oh, nice. So that's another clue that we know it is by the arts as well, when you see these intricate, They're really stamped, great. right. Exactly. Great. What about this one? So this works by an artist, Robert Pilot. He actually painted uh, quite a bit of Quebec landscapes. Okay. So, so here, that's his subject, That right? is his subject. Okay. Um, it is, but this, when we look at this, we think of what's the medium of the artwork. So that's kind of important. What um, what materials were used to make the artwork? Oh, so see. this is actually an etching versus a painting. And that's more money. It would cost more money. Well, you're going to guess. Oh, I'm going to guess. <laughs> right? No, you can't exactly, tell me. Right. Okay. Okay. So what it's what what uh, what uh, the the art piece is made out of yes. that you're doing and the art on is important. Exactly. Okay. Absolutely. All right. Let's move on to the third one then. Right. So this is an artwork by Walter Joseph Phillips. It's a color woodcut. Also something that he's, he's very well known for. The subject uh, de likely depicts Lake of the Woods, okay. and he often um, created artworks based on that, that sort of theme. You said the quality and the condition, obviously, of the artwork plays into yes. how much it's going to cost, right. right? So sometimes if you have a work on paper, it might be slightly yellowed or laid down on a board. What you want to have is, is an artwork in pristine condition, and that will affect the value, of course. Great. All right, and the fourth piece of artwork, who's this by? Yeah, this is by Maud Lewis, actually. She was a Canadian folk artist from Nova Scotia. And the commandment I'd apply to this um, would be, you know, the history of the artwork, the provenance. Who owned it? How was it acquired? Right. So if it was owned by a celebrity beforehand, that might increase sure. its value. And in, Ma in Maud's um, case, her artworks, she often sold them directly to people that would come visit her in Nova Scotia for 5 to $10. Wow. And uh, after a CBC documentary in 1965, she became quite popular, so she was really painting them quite a bit. And this one was done before that in 1962. Okay. And her last piece of art isn't yes. a painting. It's this little tiny one here. Um, so the another commandment uses size, right? It's size, absolutely. Okay. So Letrog, he is a, was, was a famous Canadian artist as well, passed away uh, just this year. And he's known for creating these really intricate um, bronzes and here you know we have a really small maquette which is kind of uh, rare in itself okay. and um, he's you know up he also created quite large ones that you see sort of all over Toronto and in public spaces wow. it's really cool all right yeah. so it's my turn to it guess is. which one is yes. the most expensive out of all this yes. okay I'm gonna go I'm gonna go I'm using the Ten Commandments that you talked about mm -hmm. I'm gonna go with this one you're correct. I am correct. You are, okay, yes. that was just a guess. Yes. Or you guys can hire me now. Yeah, can you can. You're special. <laughs> um, <laughs> Fifteen to twenty thousand. That's sort of just the starting range. Of course, it could sell for quite a bit more in our auctions. Um, Consigner.ca. We always have. Well, actually, there's there's examples of artists. Okay, how much is sold. this? One? I have to know now. Four hundred to six hundred oh, because it's an etching, and he's really well known for paintings. Okay. Yeah. And then this one. 
This one is 1,000 to 1,500. Okay, and then what about mm -hmm. the last one? The then? last one is 4,000 to 6,000. 4,000. And, and what about this little tiny one? The little one is also 4,000 to 6,000. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay, yeah. well, good guess. Thank yeah. you so much, Lydia, Thanks so much. for coming in. Uh, again, she's the Managing Director of Consigner Canadian Fine Arts. For more information, you can check out consigner.ca.